Okay, so uh, my name is Dr. Witume Loramazete. I'm currently from the University of the Vet versus Rand. I hold the position of a lecturer and a researcher in the educational information and engineering technology. So my field of expertise is engineering, specifically mechanical. So I specialize in design. So specifically in product design, where we use various techniques, your drawing tools, your computer-aided drafting to model products. So these products are then models into prototypes that later can actually be used as real-life products in the market. Uh, engineering, in simple terms, is all about using your imagination, being creative, coming up with ideas, concepts, and realizing those concepts into real-life products. My research uh, field, uh, I currently specialize in reconfigurable manufacturing systems, so which is one of the principles that we normally use in the manufacturing environment to design products that are scalable, design products that can be customized. So that means a product can actually be scaled to a much uh, bigger product in order to perform more functions. Using those principles, I designed what we call a reconfigurable vibrating screen, which is one of the machines which is used in the mining environment to separate mineral particles into sizes. I spent most of my primary school in a place called Siabuswa in Pumalanga. So that's why I actually did my primary school and then moved on to Pretoria North, where I did my high school in an African school, work school. So I can say during my school days, I struggled mostly with languages. I did well with math and science. So I fell in love with engineering when I started, uh, when I was in grade 10, when I was exposed to exhibitions, exposed to seminars. So with the subject I teach, uh, it involves a lot of uh, hands-on drawings, and then later on translating those skills into computer-based uh, drawings. And then later we can actually give them a project where they can actually develop a product using those skills and actualize the product and present it in front of the, the colleagues. I love my work because it's practical. So the kind of subjects I teach is a practical module. So it's not those kind of theoretical subjects where you just read a book and then you write a test. But this one is actually challenges your thinking, your creativity. Yeah, so from a young age, I've always uh, liked to draw things, so drawing was always part of me. So now, seeing that I can actually translate that drawing into a real-life product, so that also made me want to do a career that relates to that. Then I find myself uh, in mechanical engineering, which uh, I was able to, to see how things are done through those seminars that I attended. So I think, yes, that's why I developed my passion for it. If we were given a task to create something or to illustrate something, I express myself better in a drawing than in a paragraph that is written. So that's why I'll say design for me is what I, I go for. Yeah. Yeah, so my advice is especially to grade 11, grade 10s, is that just make sure you work very hard because grade 11, that's what takes you into a career. So if you have a good grade 11 marks, then you can pursue any career that you want to. So just visit any university's websites, through those websites, read more about what their program is all about and their expectations in terms of their marks. Then you can actually work towards that and so that we can be able to study in the university. It's not all of us who are fortunate to have support structures in our households, but I think uh, teachers also play a role, teachers at schools. There are also mentors that you can actually identify. If you see that you're interested in a career that a certain person in your community has pursued in that career, then spend more time with that person so that you can actually get more ideas on what you need to do and how you can uh, develop yourself towards that. Also being a teacher's child, I think there's a lot of pressure because you have to do well. You can't fail if you're a child of a teacher. You always have to find a way to 
to get your marks at the top. So I think those are some of the challenges that I came across. But otherwise, I think the support structure was there for me to go all the way.